Now that's on the other side of your rookie season. I guess just looking back, what are some of the big lessons you've taken as far as you know, just starting the, the league and how your game fits in it? Um, just a 82 game season. Um, a lot of games different from college, but uh, I say just my shot making ability. Um, Got to improve on it, of course, be more efficient. But um, it wasn't really like a big, big jump skill-wise, I'd just say. Um, players just smarter, faster, bigger. That's about it. You started your rookie year so hot, and then you even did mention you hit a little bit of a rookie wall. But the last two weeks or so, you were able to kind of find that rhythm. Did it help you at all, kind of, to end the season on a high note, or like, do you have a good taste in your mouth as you're leaving? As you're leaving this yeah, game? definitely. Um, I feel like the game is you gonna have you know your struggles during the season, but the fact that I just stayed with it, stayed in the gym, um, and ended the season off kind of strong, um, it's definitely good for me going into like a high note going into the summer, you know, um, so I can come back next year just with that same confidence, and um, it shows you know like the work. It just pays off. Just um, stay down, keep working, even when you are struggling. On the defensive side, we kind of knew coming in, you at the point of attack, you, you defended well in college, but we've seen teams try to like also take you down low, and you've fought with that. You've got like strips on the backside. How have you kind of, as the season went on, how did you learn to navigate the type of coverages teams try to put you in and how to kind of utilize your, your, your size and your skill set in that way? Yeah, it was definitely different. Um, you're just not on the ball all the time and um, kind of just got to learn the little tricks and stuff like that. Just come with experience and playing playing more. But uh, I say just got to get more stronger, you know, during this summer so I can, you know, uh, just hold my own ground, you know, when they do try to post me up or I'm guarding a bigger wing or something like that if I'm not guarding, you know, my uh, main assignment. So uh, really just getting stronger and just learning more uh, little tricks and stuff like that. What was the adjustment, you know, going from a college situation where you kind of know you're going to have the ball and this and that, when well, you come into the league and you, know, you have Cade, you have Ivy, uh, you have a lot of guys you're sharing the rock with. Uh, was that an adjustment early on? And if so, kind of what was the process of figuring that aspect out? Uh, yeah, it was an adjustment, but uh, I think we all just really had the same, you know, mindset. Um, really just was all trying to learn how to play with each other, um, gel with each other. So we really just went out there and tried to just play our game and, uh, let the experience and stuff like that build our chemistry. And um, really just, we all have, you know, different skill sets, but uh, I feel like they all kind of uh, gel with each other well. So we, um, I feel like we kind of just, it came easy, you know, once we start just playing together a lot more. Uh, and guys, I've talked about, you know, obviously high school, college, a lot of players enter the league because of the winning and then there's an adjustment period once you get in. Did you feel any of that? Like you probably come in knowing it's going to be a battle every night, but I guess just from week to week, how did you handle that? Uh, it was definitely tough, you know, just used to winning a lot, but um, it's the it's the NBA, you know, you're playing against the best players in the world. So um, like you say, every night going to be a fight um, and really just learning how to move on to the next game, you know, not dwell on the loss or um, just not think on it too much. You got to play and then uh, kind of just flesh it out and get ready for the next game because, you know, you don't want to have, you know, no mental mental breakdowns or just um, like bad energy from your last game to carry over to your next game. So I just say just learning how to flesh games quickly. You mentioned the, the tips and tricks. Is there anyone that particularly excited you or maybe opened up something uh, for you in a way that you hadn't done it before? You can repeat it, you said. The, the tips, the, the tips oh, the and tricks. tricks yeah, uh, I'd say some of the vets, uh, like when Monte was here, Monte Morris, uh, Kate, he kind of helped. Um, Todd, she kind of helped just, they just experienced the game a lot or, you know, they played a lot of minutes, so, you know, they can get away with certain things and, you know, they'll try to give me a little tip here, you know, when they post up, do this, or, you know, you can use your hands when you do this and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I had a lot of help for sure this, this season.